In this unit I'm going to talk about hiding and overriding graphics in views. I'm going to start off by explaining or demonstrating when you typically would use this or why you'd want to do it and I'll very quickly go on to show you how to do it. So here's a 3D view, um, very simple project. Uh, let's say for example we want to create a view showing the inside of this building, so a 3D view, but we need to hide this wall so we can actually see what's happening in there. So we can hide this individual element, this single piece of wall. So I'm going to do that now. So I'll take you through this step by step in a second. So now we've got a 3D view with the wall taken out so we can clearly see what's happening inside. So let's take a look at another example. I'm going to switch to an elevation view, just going to move those levels to one side so I'm using the tab key to cycle through until they're selected. Now I'm just going to use that little open circle grip to pull them to one side and place there. So let's say for whatever reason we don't want to see in this particular elevation view this specific level, level one. We don't want to see this graphical line here and the, the level head. So again, we can just select that single element and we can hide in view. So we're using this tool to turn off the visibility of specific elements that we don't need to see in particular views. So let's just go back to the example of our 3D view and removing or hiding the end wall so that we create an image showing the inside of our building. So let's do that now. So go ahead and select the element that you want to hide. Right click and on the pop up menu you will see an option there to hide in view. As soon as you hover over that a sub menu comes up giving you more choices either elements, category or by filter. If you choose elements, it's only going to hide the individual element or elements that you've selected. Now the thing to note there is the plural elements. You can select more than one element and use this and hide all of those in one go. And you can also hide a complete category. So if I choose that, it will interrogate what category of element I've selected and it will hide all the elements of that particular category in this view. I'll show you that in a second. So for now I'm just going to go with elements and there we have it, that particular element is hidden. Now if I select the door for example, right click, hide in view, now if I choose my category, now because the door is of the door category it's now going to hide all items, i.e. all doors in this particular view. And there we have it, that door and the one on the outside wall have now been hidden. Not only can we hide individual elements and whole categories in views, we can also override their graphic display. That is, we can make them appear in different styles, different colors, different transparency levels. So I'm going to show you that now. So let's take that end wall again, right click. So instead of hiding in view, we're going to choose the one below, override graphics in view. Again, we've got that sub menu of choices by element, by category, by filter. I'm going to choose by element for just this single wall. Now here we've got a choice of how we want this graphic to display. So visible or not, that's the same as just hiding it in view. We can make it half tone. Let's click that. And now it is displayed in a half tone, a little bit difficult to see on there. So I'm going to right click again, override its graphic element. We can change projection lines. We can change the actual style of the line, the color, any surface pattern, surface transparency. So let's set this at around 50%, but on 55% apply. And now we can actually start to see through the wall. So a variety of different graphic approaches or graphic filters we can apply to our elements in order to create the view we need. Just as with the hide elements, we can actually apply graphic overrides to whole categories. So using those doors as an example again, right click, 
override graphics in view by category so now whatever I choose here is going to apply to all the doors in this particular view remember the the settings we're making here are view specific they're only going to apply to this view in this case the default 3d view here so let's have surface patterns so I'm going to apply a pattern and color let's choose nice purple there hit apply hit OK and now if we zoom in we can see a surface pattern has been applied to the graphic and just about make out the door behind receives the same treatment now just note these are graphic overrides the doors in this case the door families haven't been changed they haven't been edited if we go to any other view that shows this particular door it won't have this graphical treatment this is just a pure graphic override in this view specifically and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.